carry on with the uh, 200 TDI. We're going to um, have a look at the water pump removal and refitting now. And um, what I'm doing here is removing the uh, Jubilee clips and um, taking the water pump bypass hose um, off the water pump. We've already stripped the, uh, the hose off at the bottom, which is the uh, water um, inlet. Okay, obviously you'll need to do that if you've got this in the vehicle. Now, once we've um, got at this sort of state, what I will say is that um, undoing the bolts on the pulley, you might be better off doing them with the belts still on the vehicle. However, um, I'm showing here a nice little trick, okay, holding the pulley with a belt so you can undo these um, bolts. So I think they're M5. Uh, the head on these is uh, an 8mm socket, okay, for reference, um, unless somebody's actually changed them. Alright, so there's a nice little trick for you. Um, these aren't done up very tight at all. In fact, um, it's just over finger tight. Um, we need to take the uh, pulley off so we can access this bolt here. And as you can see, there's a ring of bolts uh, holding the water pump on. Now these actually are very important to um, know that these bolts, okay, might well snap or ring off or strip a thread when you take the water pump off itself, okay. Now I've used a 10mm socket. There's also a 13mm um, you'll need for the top one here. Okay, now this is actually a nut. If we have a look, see here it's um, a stud I'm pulling out. All right, this can cause sort of uh, complications if you're taking the cover plate off. So uh, just keep that in mind. Okay, actually that one I've uh, got a 13 mil head on as well, but they're M8s, whatever. And um, to keep the bolts in order, and this is very, very important, I'll explain this. I've made a card up. Um, you've got your water, ba water gallery bolts, which are um, three ones on the uh, right hand top corner. Okay, that is where the water comes from the engine block, and these can snap. Okay, they'll be corroded quite badly, so take it easy with them first off. All right, and you have to inspect the uh, condition of them when they come out to make sure that the threads haven't corroded badly. All right, now what I'm going to show you here. All the bolts are out except for this stud. Uh, they're all different lengths and uh, there's a purpose behind all this. If we uh, look at doing this bolt up you can see the length where it goes into the casing and on this one here which is 110 millimeters this goes into the block. Um, there you go. This holds the timing case square as well. All right, you've got to remember they've got to be the right lengths. So we'll start off with uh, the bottom underneath, which is 25 millimeters long. Um, that might well strip a thread. All right, 25 millimeters. Now the ones in the water gallery are 55 mil. Okay, which is these two, and then you've got 25 mil just into the casing. Um, all right. Now this one's 110 millimeters, which we saw goes right the way through to the cylinder block. Right. and I've got to change the socket as I said before the, that one at the top there's a, a, a stud and uh, it's got a 13mm nut on it or M8 as we call it ok, start off there are torque settings for these when you do them back up again ok, so this one's 110mm long as well which will pull the, the casing and everything together remember this, it's important to get the lengths right um, yeah, you see I've put them on a piece of card and that will keep them in order and I've got a reference point now ok so um, to break the uh, seal ok I've used a, a soft headed mallet All right, just to crack it from off the gasket All right, so you have the water pump off um, refitting ok um, a trick here well this is <laughs> more or less standard is that you grease the gasket up before you fit it okay and in my case I've got the wrong gasket that's the one I need okay <clears throat> this is a fittest thing but it's, it's universal is to grease a paper gasket it helps to seal but it also helps to stick the gasket in place um, while you're uh, assembling something you don't need heaps of silicon and in fact silicon can actually be quite detrimental uh, at times okay so a little bit of grease on there and that's stuck into place nicely 
while we assemble the uh, water pump onto here. Okay, and um, we'll do it, so there's no problem there. Okay. Right, as I said, I had my um, bolts all in arrangement, okay, so I know which one's which, and it's just a matter of remembering which way around they were. Yeah, so. We'll have to imagine that this is actually a brand new water pump, all right, or <coughs> if you've done the timing belt uh, front cover, then you're putting your old water pump back on. Make sure that the gasket uh, the surfaces, the mating surfaces are clean, they don't have any silicon or old gasket on them. Okay, now basically I'll reassemble all of this, they do need talking up. I will say here though, if you have um, problems with um, strip threads, I do have a section which uh, will show you how to repair um, the Tommy Cape front cover. Okay, um, now torque setting at the bottom there is 23 to 30 newton meters on each bolt. Okay, um, <clears throat> if there's a sequence to do them, then do them like you would a, a wheel. Um, or um, do them loosely, all evenly, first of all, round, and then go to torque them up. Okay, there doesn't seem to be any real sequence. However, um, they should really all be done evenly. Okay, the sensibility here is that the timing case needs to be pulled up square, so does the water pump, so it doesn't leak. So we've got that far, we can put our pulley back on. All right, and um, I actually put a little bit of thread lock on the threads, just as a security to um, make sure the bolts don't come up undone at the wrong time. Okay, it happens. All right, so these are just nipped up with a um, socket. Okay, uh, make sure when you put that on actually that the mating face again is clean on both sides so it goes on symmetrical. All right, you'd be surprised it, it takes energy if it, uh, something's spinning and it's not um, concentric. Okay, now look, there's an extra different one with a 10mm head instead of an 8mm head on that one. Okay, so. I'm just nipping these up. Okay, you get a feel for certain nuts after a while. Um, right. I'm using fairy liquid. Or should I say, I have a spray detergent um, to help me assemble this back together. Uh, that just helps me push the pipes on. Okay, especially if they're new, they can be quite um, hard to push into place. All right. Um, Showing you here my uh, special tool, which is uh, flexible enough to go almost round corners. Um, what you've got to remember when you actually do Jubilee clips up is that you put them in a place they're not going to obstruct anything um, or chafe, okay, and that you can access them uh, after assembly. If something's been built up on a bench, you, you want to make sure that um, in the vehicle it's practicable or you can actually access. Um, screw threads and jubilee heads um, because it's important yeah it's really important okay so there basically you have it um, I didn't mention about taking the uh, thermo viscous um, uh, fan off there is a section here as well which will uh, show you how to do that all right but that is logical that needs to come off before you can strip anything okay and a special tool is um, available for that Okay, anyway, I hope you enjoyed this uh, piece. It led me to uh, carry on with <laughs> putting it all back together again. <laughs>